Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I wanted to take this opportunity to do another short video today on the topics of divination, psychic readings, and tarot readings. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my personal belief system and my philosophies surrounding these things and also talk a little bit about um, my practices and how I define some of these terms. So um, in my reintroduction video, I mentioned briefly that I'm an intuitive empath, but I didn't um, elaborate on what that means. Um, and I know it's empath has become a pretty common topic these days, so a lot of you probably know. But in case you're not familiar, it means that you pick up on the feelings of other people and on the energy of other people and that you actually feel what other people are feeling and you get information um, about people and about situations through feelings. So it's a multi-layered thing. Um, it's not always so cut and dry. Um, it can be hard to explain, but it also means that the way that I commune with spirit is through feeling as well. And the way that I receive messages from spirit is through feeling. So because of that, um, I have been able to develop some abilities to channel. And the way that I channel is through opening up my body, opening myself up to spirit, and then allowing energy from universe or, or from spirit to flow through me and then absorbing the information in that energy and that's how I'm able to um, tune in to receive spiritual guidance and that's how I'm able to tune in to receive um, guidance for my clients to receive messages and information for my clients and that's how I am also able to um, send energy in the direction of my clients through root work um, and through the candle magic and the services that I perform on behalf of my clients. So um, that's that's something that I don't think a lot of people understand. Um, I think that people usually think that channeling means that you are um, you are being inhabited by a particular spirit or um, a deceased person and that you go into a very intense deep trance and you start speaking in the voice of that person or that spirit um, and then in the end you don't remember what happened. Um, I think that's the typical idea that people have of what it means to channel or to be a medium um, and that can be true, that is true for some people but um, a lot of recent research and uh, um, recent experiences have shown that in order to properly channel, you don't have to go that deeply into a trance, and it doesn't have to be such an intense thing. Um, there are many ways to do it, and sometimes it's even more effective to just go into a very light trance, and it's definitely more effective to be aware of what you're doing and be aware of the messages that you're receiving. So, um, when I am doing a tarot reading, for example, um, I basically, I open up my crown chakra and I open up my whole body and I just let the energy of spirit flow through me and <clears throat> it helps me tune into my own tuition, intuition and it also um, sends information through me. Um, and it's a very effective way to, to gain spiritual guidance. Um, and really all that's necessary for me is to be open to it. And I, I think that that's where a lot of people get stuck. I think it's hard for a lot of people to be open. And I also think that people um, make it more difficult than it needs to be. Once you have your basic foundation laid, um, once you have a meditation practice and you're familiar with um, doing that kind of mental and energetic work on yourself, um, once, you, once you have a spiritual practice and you 
know how your own spiritual gifts work. That's a really important piece of the puzzle. Um, once you've done all that kind of work and you're seasoned in practicing those kinds of things, then it becomes very easy for you to just get in tune when you need to get in tune, as long as you're keeping up with your spiritual maintenance. It becomes very easy to get in tune when you need to get in tune, and all that's really necessary is to be in a quiet space and to allow, allow yourself to open up. Um, now, I do receive messages in other ways. My main gift is being an empath, um, but I do receive messages in other ways, and I think that it works the same for most people with these kinds of gifts or with this kind of practice. Um, I receive messages through dreams. I receive messages through visions. Um, sometimes I hear things, not very often, but sometimes I do. Um, I have spiritual guides that work with me in a variety of ways. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what it means to receive a reading from, a, um, from the perspective of spiritual guidance because I think there's a lot of confusion about this. So from my experience and uh, from, from my perspective, what it means to receive a tarot reading from the perspective of spiritual guidance means that you will be viewing things from your current perspective, from, from the, the moment that you're in now. Um, you will be looking at what is going on in your life at the current moment. It's usually not predicting the future. That's what I'm getting at. So I try to uh, avoid calling my readings divination. I do do some divination, but I try to avoid calling my tarot readings specifically divination because it's usually not something to look into the future. Um, now, you, there may be some... There may be a little bit of information about the very near future, but overall it is, it's not the kind of reading to predict the future specifically. So when, when you're receiving spiritual guidance through a reading, um, you're receiving information about your current circumstances and where you are in your life's journey of learning and developing and growth as a person. So spirit will give you information on um, how you can be working on developing yourself, um, how you can avoid obstacles in development and growth, um, how, you, how you can look at the obstacles that you're facing from a spiritual perspective. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it as far as the tarot readings go. Um, now, I do offer a variety of other kinds of readings and divination services, as I mentioned, and they're all done the same way. Um, so the advantage of the method that you use, it really just depends on what the client is comfortable with or what my friend or family member is comfortable with and what they prefer. Um, tarot readings are very popular right now. so. I think that a lot of people are really comfortable with tarot readings, um, but regardless of the kind of reading that you're getting from me, I'm using the same methods. I'm using the same spiritual gifts, and it all it works the same way. Now, I will say that tarot cards are especially effective when you're learning to develop your own personal gifts and skills because... Um, the images and symbols that you see in, in tarot cards are something that um, we can all relate to. It's something that we have a genetic memory of. It's something that we know from mythology, that we know from folklore, that we know from generations back. So having those symbols and images in front of you can trigger your information and trigger it can trigger your intuition and trigger the um, spiritual guidance that you're receiving in a way that brings you more clarity. So it's a very useful tool for developing your own spiritual gifts. However, they're not necessary. Um, no tools are really necessary in these kinds of spiritual practices or in using these kinds of spiritual gifts. 
I can just as easily go outside and stare at the clouds or stare at a stream and get have the same kind of practice or the same kind of um, experience that I have using my tarot cards. So regardless of the method used, um, the, the practice is the same. And um, that's, that's a little bit about my tarot readings and my perspective on divin divination and my personal gifts. Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I'm happy to elaborate. I'm happy to answer your questions in a future video. Please like the video. Please share the video. Um, you can look for me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Blogspot. I'll leave links to all of my sites below. Um, thank you for watching, and I look forward to future videos. Have a good night.